Now, Jimmy, when you're looking for pressure washers, numbers don't always tell the whole story, at least not all the numbers don't always tell the right story, but you can explain that. I know I've seen all kinds of things on the shelves in terms of how much PSI one has versus another, and what's that all about? Just explain that for us. When you're talking about the consumer-based pressure washer, the homeowner pressure washer, in electrics, the numbers jump all over the place, and they have for years. And everybody always tends to gravitate towards the higher PSI. And that's Bigger always, is better, that's, that's the thought. That's not always yeah, the case. Right, right. And it's mostly hmm. marketing for the manufacturers. You really want to look at two numbers, the pressure and the volume, the GPMs. Right. I want those to be as high as possible, but if I was to have to trade one over the other, I would trade pressure for volume. Mm -hmm. I want GPM to be the highest I can get on the model I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. So I would much rather have a 1500 PSI at 1.9 gallon a minute pressure washer per se than a 2000 PSI at 1.3. It requires water to clean. In the gas pressure washer world, it's not so difficult to find one that you like in that regard because the engine horsepower dictates the performance of the, of the pressure washer. So typically a five and a half horsepower gas pressure washer has the same performance brand for brand. But if you see one over another that jumps all of a sudden in, in pressure, then you want to look at that GPM and I'll bet you they sacrifice GPM to get the pressure number higher to try to sell more pressure washers. So just to be uh, careful and when you're shopping pressure washers, higher volume, is more important than higher pressure. Okay. All right. Well, there's a lot to think about when you go out to buy these, just as there is with just about any tool on the market. We've got the information you need to make informed purchase decisions on PressureParts.com or ToolBarn.com. So if you're in the market for a pressure washer, and a lot of you will be, I'm pretty sure, this spring, check out either of those websites and you'll get the information you need. And as importantly, you'll find the tools that you need. So thanks for being with us. We hope you join us next time.